And here we go. Ooh. Ryu versus Mika. All right. The pressure of our Mika versus the new and improved Ryu. Yep. Back from the dead. After four years. He is now actually viable. Starting off. Yep, playing that mission with fireball game, game. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Now he's in the corner. This is where Mika truly shines. Yeah, we got the Davy Boy British Bulldog in the play. Oh, that's going to stun. And the Rekkas. And a big stun coming in for the first round for Sabo. The Irish whip into oh. the turnbuckle. That was a really good reset. Activates the V trigger now. Oh, oh my god. Here. I think he tried to go through the fireball right there with the yeah. EX. Um, Damn. I forgot what the move is called. Oh. Ooh. I really like how Dells and Fire is playing that mid-range game and oh it's just when I was saying that it gets hit. Yeah, Sabo looking really strong here getting started. Yep. Dells is being super patient right now. Oh, that was a bad fireball right there. Nice EXDP. Get off of me. Oh, he could have parried that drop kick. Oh my god, the EX Peach Bomb. Good anti air. Nice back throw for Ryu. This is what he wants. Oh. All the activation is going to be reversed, and that's going to punish. Oh, Nadesco! She lands her mark. Oh, and the command grab. Oh, Sabo taking the first game. Uh, well, the tag team duo of Nadesco and Armika is enough here for Sabo to get game one to get things started off here tonight for the G Fuel Tropical Rain series. I definitely thought. Um, Delson was going to beat shit through the Deshko. See if he's able to make some adjustments here. Definitely. Does he, does he go right back into it? He does. Playing that mid range fireball game again with Ryu, using that crouching forward. All oh, dashing command grab. Here we go. Here comes the mix. And a reversal sweep. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Cobra Kai. Oh, here we go. Big punish, but drops the combo. And the big duff kick. Here we go. I, I want to see him utilize the screen he has on his back. Very strong. Keeping Mika grounded is what he wants. Okay, got another back throw. Nice anti-air there. Oh, the delay. The wreck is... Pushing him back into the corner, activated once again. He's oh my god, he gets the first counter. Oh, he's gonna pay for that. Wake up DP, and he's gonna get hit with the stun. Oh, that's gonna be the round. Oh, it's not. <gasps> okay, he activates. Oh, yeah, you might be a little behind. Yeah, you're a little behind. Are you watching? Am I a little bit behind? Are you watching via Discord? Wait, so are you? Uh, are, are you not, watching? Yeah, Discord? I'm watching Discord. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm really? a little bit behind. Uh, it's yeah, okay. Maybe. I, Hold on. This does happen. Let me sometimes. refresh it. I'm gonna refresh. Yeah, that's fine. All right then. So right now, Delson takes that round. Oh, that could have been his chance with the anti here. Nice wake up crouch forward, going for the huge damage. The dammy. Oh, punishes the roll right there, and that's going to be a stun. That's going to be game right there. Delzin still alive. 1-1. One, one. And Delzin just deleting the health bar there from Sabo, and, and he's going to tie things up. That's a great response here. He didn't want to already be on the back pedal. Is it going to be 2 out of 3, or is it 3 out of 5 to start? What are we looking at? I believe uh, it's 2 out of 3. In here. It's 2 out of 3. Well, you definitely don't want to go down into the lower bracket to start. Definitely, okay. especially this early as well. That will be very a bad place to be at, especially with all these killers that are playing in this tournament. Yeah, everybody's going to get a little bit of this prize pot, but you, you definitely want to extend yep. your life here. Yep. 
right oh, now. We went for oh, the shimmies! Oh, this time he tried to parry the drop kick. That was a good bait by Sabo. Yeah, but he jumped over after that crush counter, and now he's got the corner once again. Can he keep Sabo grounded? Very, being very patient right now. Not trying to take any risk. He tried to go for it again. Oh! Oh! Yo! <laughs> he said, "Screw the Dashko." That was sick. He, he picked Yo, the Dashko. That was OD. <laughs> Nice little fall. Oh, that was such a good buddy. Catching Sabo trying to dash in. Match point right now for Delzin. Oh, man. Delzin and nice Ryu. Together. What a parry. What a response here. <gasps> oh, oh, he peeled the water peach. Oh. He's in trouble. Oh, my God. It's he over. Tell you I'm the crouch short. This is not going to kill just yet. He's one he touch away. More. Okay. Woo! Oh! oh! 40 TPs! Sabo moving on! I mean, Delzin moving on. Damn! You know, what Sabo a start got... for our first yeah. match of the day. Sabo, Sabo already in the loop in Wow. For Delzin to be able to respond and answer back and to interrupt and to use the DP at the precise moment Getting those hits, building the momentum, getting the stun. Really impressive play there from Delzin. Really looking forward to seeing him further on in the bracket. And towards the end, he started to use those parries to punish those drop kicks. Very smart by Delzin to adapt after that first game. Right you are. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, we're going to get the next match going. Just give us a sec. While we do, uh, while we do, you know, talk about this uh, match arena for a little bit, bro. I get the next match going. We already at one thousand. Nice. And that's Yo, a big, big, that big in part rain, though. Yeah, big in part thanks to G Fuel and the tropical rain. Um, the the ability for the FGC to get through these times, especially with the past year. It couldn't be possible without sponsors and support from, you know, G Fuel and Matcharino. Big shout outs to all of them for all of their support. Um, make sure you use those promo codes up, chat. There's also uh, Twitter quests, YouTube quests. All of those things are available to increase the, the overall prize pool, which, as again, Creaky already mentioned, is over $1,000. And we're oh, just wait, getting well, started now here in round two. To 30 right now, 1,030. Let's go <clears throat> as we speak. Let's go. The hype rises. Street Fighter Five, Tropical you know, Rain, mm -hmm. bringing the pain. You know, shouts to the people who are donating to boost up this pod. It's really much appreciated. It benefits to everyone that's playing this tournament as well. And it only further motivates and incentivizes future tournaments and events and even for other games. Even if you're just here enjoying the atmosphere and the vibes here on a Friday night, watching some Street Fighter V, some high-level play. Who knows? Maybe it's the game of your choice Damn. up next here for G Fuel. So make sure, again, you use those promo codes. Activate, you know, activate the max CPM in the chat. Get it started here. Let's get the hype started. It's round two in the winner's bracket. Again, we're looking for our next match to get set up. Uh, thanks. Uh, so much for your patience, chat. And it looks like we're going to get started. Yeah, so it's Malort Pope versus Rob TV. So he's got to Oh, Rob away. TV. And Rob was using, uh, if I if I remember correctly, Rob TV was using in the qualifier yesterday, he was using Ryu. So we're going to, uh, uh, very well. Ryu possible. and Karen. Yeah, of so, course. He's going back to the back to his main, Kareem. I think. I think we might see Ryu coming out of him uh, to get started. So it's Uncle Vin Vinch, right? Wait, no. I need to probably open up the bracket in my phone too, as well, just to see where we're at. Yeah, I have the bracket up here just so we can follow along. Everything's moving so fast. We have some off, you know, off stream off, matches off -stream as well. Matches. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's moving. Everything's moving. Uh, you know, at a, at a rapid pace here. It is a tropical rainstorm going on here in the in the bracket. 
for sure. Mm-hmm. So I see right in the center we have uh yeah, Rob T V. And J Mac right now. Let's see who I haven't I don't know who J Mac plays, so let's see. I'm interested. Ooh, interesting. So Rob T V going for Falk. Really? Do you think yeah. they're on just other he, side? He, he, I never oh, seen this. I, I yeah. never seen this either. I never seen this. Oh no no, yeah, Malort Malort Pope, Malort Pope. Mal 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 Switch sides. Okay, so so oh my I, God, I got the seat. Is All right. <laughs> my bad. All right. So anyway, so I'll tell you what it is with uh, right, Falk dude. this season. So she she has uh she has some significant buffs and everything. She's a totally new character. There's way too many right things now, to talk about. Oh. Right now, um, J Mac using that mid range of Falk's buttons to try to keep Karen out, but right now Raw TV pushing him in the corner. Oh, good anti here. Trying to keep that corner pressure on him. Yeah, getting that back throw was crucial there if he wanted to extend the pressure. Yep. He's playing Even super patient right now. It's not really extending himself. It's the health lead as well. So, so like, I feel like Karen, she has, she has slightly better buttons in the uh, mid range. Falk can compete though, but. Kind of has to stay in and out of uh, Karen's 2MK range. It's like really a problem. Uh, I want to see some use of the uh, improved gunshot here. Like uh, the uh, gunshot actually has an improved hurtbox, so it hits at farther ranges. Like I said, like again, Karen's 2MK really carries the match. And right now he's already close to stun. Uh, and he gets it. Yeah, the oppression session here from Rob TV. Mm -hmm. Pressure. Yeah, J Max gonna have to. He's gonna have to take a moment and just and just recollect himself. Rob is just you know full throttle there. So much pressure. Kareen really making you pay for it, like Art said. Yeah, he's gonna have to stay outside the range. Round one. Decides to go back with Paul. Oh, and that was a good whip punish right there by Rob. And already he's putting Mac in the corner. Going for that throw pressure. Oh, and the overhead. Try to go for the overhead again. That was big damage. She gets better Okizeme off the DPs too. So now it doesn't bounce you as far away, which is one of her big issues. Oh, that, that's a buff too. So when she does V trigger two cancel, she can cancel into the orb now. It's plus four on hit. So like she has the tools. She can actually evaporate Karen's eye bar if you get one touch and V skill two, but it's not gonna happen. Right now, Rob TV is at match point. Seeing neutral ball play right now. Oh, gets the counter hit with the stand fears. Really good button by Karen. Ooh, just the jump back. Didn't want to deal with any of that. Yeah, now he's drawing out a little bit more fireballs now with um Falk. Before yeah. we haven't been seeing that a lot. Yeah, gun gunshots really improved, so you should use it. You gets the chance. Oh, he's waiting. Nice back throw. That gives space he needs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, why? 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 Oh, he, I think he tried to bait an answer, no. a jump right there. Oh, and now he's back in the it. corner. No, it's it. Oh. It's over. Oh. Yeah, it's over. Definitely. This is going to hurt a lot. She does so much. Oh, she's still alive. No, no. Oh, no. <gasps> oh he press jab. Yeah. Rob TV takes it 2 0. Congratulations, Rob TV, win. for advancing. He will move on in the bracket. Yep. Yeah, it looks like uh, when. Uh, you know, J-Mac was in that corner. He was trying to just, he was just trying to find his answer. And, and Rob was just, you know, he was just able to keep flipping him back in there with the back throws. And, and it was like back to square one. But Rob's going to move on. He's going to go up against Tega in round two on the winner's side. Uh, so that should be a really great matchup. Uh, hopefully we get to get that one on stream if we can. Right now we're just uh, queuing up the next, uh, the next match here.
And an update here for the prize pool. We're now over $1,050. Thank you Ooh. all so, want, so very much once again. Let's go. Wow. Keep it up. We're already getting close to 1060. Yeah, we are. And, so and, can, and once again, guys, uh, top 32 in this tournament is getting paid out. Uh, G Fuel provided $1,000 as a base. So we, we definitely appreciate all your support here. You can use the promo code Tropical Rain. You'll donate 50 cents for free. Check out the uh, marketplace if you want an item. Check out the G Fuel Energy Sponsor Quest. And if we get to $1,500, G Fuel will add another $500 to the prize pool, by the way. So, like, so if we can get that 1500 mark, we'll have $2,000 in cash at least for these players. So, uh, shout out to everybody who has uh, donated so far. You know, uh, Matcharina, you know, Matcharina with the $1,000 donation as G Fuel, Umber Richard, Canyon Spider, Rotary Lover, and Low Kick Esports. All right, give me a sec to get the next match going, guys. Yeah, you know, and, and even the qualifiers, even yesterday, had uh, some healthy, healthy prize pools. Um, you know, the the competition has, you know, been fierce all throughout the, the land and all the, you know, storm clouds with the tropical rain bringing the pain. How can we refrain, you know? All you got to do, all you got to do, chat, just type in exclamation Matcharino. Go in there, sign in. A couple clicks later, you're donating to the prize pool for free, and you're just supporting the content. You're supporting the the players and the events for further and future events for your your game of choice. Who knows? There's no end to the possibilities. All right, looks like we're ready. Oh yeah, and, and once again, guys, this is uh this is uh being restreamed everywhere. So make sure to check the uh, Street Fighter category to check out the restreams from all of our various partners. Oh, for sure, I do have it. I do have it on my stream as well. Ah. Uh, Gandhi underscore man. If you just wanna, you just wanna help the algorithm out. Appreciate that. You just smack that follow button on my channel. Thank you to Rotary uh, Lover. Stream. Thank you to Rotary Lover for the uh, nine dollars in cash right there. Appreciate you. Yeah, our qualifier yesterday, we had over $100 um, in our qualifier, and uh, Shine was uh, was the one who came out on top on that. I look, look forward to seeing him playing later on in this bracket as well. But here we go. We got... We got Geef. Round one. So we oh, got yeah, shot. Alex actually is Alex. Yeah, it's Alex. <laughs> is it Geef? No. <laughs> like so, Geef so, 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 so the skin he's using. I'm looking at the bracket and then I looked over and I just saw oh, a big body. And oh, I Gandhi. So, so the skin he's using of Alex is actually from Red yeah. Earth Warzard. That's a, that's, a, that's a really obscure CPS3 game that didn't even come out. <laughs> it looks like Zaggy. You know, stuff. Like, uh, if that was the daily double on Jeopardy, I would have lost. definitely gotten the Angry Dolphin for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The real ones, no. Oh, yeah, so the stomp right but there I have is heard actually about Alex Luck. Luck. So I am excited to see him on the screen. Yeah, he did get some buffs. I haven't read his buffs, but I know that he's actually got buffs in his game. Yeah, we got this Sporty Spice Akuma outfit here. Yep, a, a character that's still alive. You know, people saying that he's not good, but he's still good. I mean, this character is god tier on multiple games. He's always been good in every game <laughs> that he's been in. Maybe exception for CBS 2, but every Street Fighter game he's always been good. And right now, um, Nuts Zest takes the first game, uh, the first round right there, and spacing him Alex out with those fireballs. Oh, that was a nice dolphin dive right there. Yeah, can you hear the dolphins cry? Oh. Yeah, that's that overhead stomp is plus on block when you need it. He's coming in like super fly Jimmy Snooker. Playing super patient, nice jump fierce. 
He pumped his pokes a lot. Oh my god. This card strong is really good. Yeah, these big body crouching strongs. Uh, very strong normals. <gasps> He's ready for Ooh, that. that was a good parry, but he couldn't convert off of it. Maybe the dolphin dive just to get out of dodge there. He's trying to play the neutral game right now. Of Alex. Yeah, this oh, is where he wants to be here. Done head, but... Oh! Oh, he's just getting peppered with all these random normal hits. All these counters. Oh, oh my goodness. Yep. And then he's got to extend hurt. it with the EXDP. And yeah, that's going to close the round. Akuma wins. So Ziss uh, getting the first round here, the first game here. But uh, Sh you know, seeing uh, seeing Shock moving around here with Alex, he, he looks pretty confident in this matchup. He seems seems like he's comfortable, so he's going right back into yep. it. Using those light elbows as to getting in his on good tech zone. Shock, oh, okay, small punish. That was a very good small punish right there. Yeah, he's got to max these punishes out if he's going to stand a chance here. Oh, yeah, that is a very good punish. That whole string right there that Akuma did is punishable. So that was very good go. punish right there using the Lariat. Very nice. I'm liking how Shock is playing the neutral using Alex's strong button, which is his crouch strong, and using also his standing mean kick as well. Oh, oh activation that's the power bomb. Ooh. We'd love to see it. Round two. Fight. Nice punish on the crowd strong. Good jump. Got out of the corner. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, he interrupted that. And he got a counter off his crowd strong and was able to combo that. Wasn't even a lot, but still. Okay. He's activated, he's, he's utilizing the air fireballs, the fourth fireball there. He tried to um, die before, but he got oh, punished yeah. for it. Oh, Lots of damage there. Yeah. Full meter. Full. So now it's match point resist. You know, Shock's strongest play is when they're in this mid-screen area here. Yeah, like but again, you said he can use his crouch and jab. Yeah. He's got to find a way to keep it in this mid-screen. Boots, just ch checking that that neutral. That was a good crouch fears right there. Very it's nice. A, I haven't seen him use that anti air in a while. That's, not, that's one of Alex's really good anti airs. Crouch fears. All right, this activates. Nice. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Nice check. Wake up buttons right there, challenging him. Now he gets us a, a knockdown right here. He's within reach. Yeah, nice. he gets the crouch strong. The end of that round is Alex a favorable uh, scenario situation uh, for for shocking, having that mid screen, being able to utilizing those crouch jabs. Looking very good. He was able to respond. Round Let's see one. how it plays out here in game number three. Fight. Going right back to that crouch jab. Oh, that now was a really good yeah. jump in. Look at this. Oh, he Here got the hard go. counter. This is going to hurt a lot. Oh, nice beast chip. Now he's slowly trying to push out of the corner. Trying to fight his way out. Oh. All punished now. Oh, no. He didn't get the full punish. Oh, he, he tried to get underneath of him oh. from the air fireball. Round two. Point. Nice shot building the momentum here. And look, now he's on match point. Yep. We're going to see an Alex advanced here. 
really exciting to see Alex bringing the pain in the tropical rain G Fuel series. Oh, he tried to anti with the crouch oh, fears, but he went for the counter. air fireball. That was very smart. Here we go. This is where it gets dangerous. He was able to oh. dolphin dive and get out of there again. Very nice. Yep. Back and now in the mid back screen. Range. Oh, big Ric Flair chops. Boom. Nice. He nice. stopped me one over that fireball. Great reaction on that fireball. Yeah. We tried again there. It was a little too late, but oh, he gets the hit anyway. The counter. That was sick. The that damage on the EX counter. I don't even think he was even able to combo off that before in the past seasons. Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, he wasn't. Definitely was not. Oh, so that must have been a new buff for Alex. So Shock takes it and is moving on to in the winner's side of the bracket. Very good Alex play. Exciting to see some Alex play early on. He's going to move forward and go up against Shine, who was our qualifying winner uh, for for our qualifier event yesterday, that last chance. Yes, absolutely. So, so he's got a tall, he's got a big mountain to climb, as he uh, goes up against Shine next. But... Just an update. Once again, we have now reached uh, one thousand eighty dollars. Ever so close to hitting eleven hundred. Thank you all so very much for all your support. Those Macherino codes are calling your name while we're here in downtime. Go ahead and use those promo codes. Also, yeah, Twitter, YouTube support. quests. Yeah. Thanks so much for subscribing. I see the support coming in for Arturo as well. Thanks so much, uh, SRK. Yeah, thank you so much. We see you out there. Thank you all so very much. Season 5 just getting started. G Fuel with the unwavering support. Macherino, it's a perfect team. You know, season five, it's it's it, it's a lot. There's a lot to be hopeful for moving into uh, season five here. All right, so the next match is going to be oof, uh, Zaffarino, Masterino versus I'll wash your hands. I hear the king. Ooh, Zaffarino can't wait to see that Sagat. I know he's been enjoying Sagat ever since he got buffed just from watching streams of him playing it, so it's going to be very cool to watch this Sagat in action. Yeah, Zaffarino is one of those few that have been sticking with the character uh, through thick and thin. And now he has a chance here to win and move forward in the Tropical Rain series. But, uh, you know, it couldn't be possible without our sponsors, G Fuel. Uh, you know, as you see, there's so many different partners. Uh, shout outs to Team Spooky and, of course, uh, Low Kick Esports and Will English, and NYC Furby, James Chen, everyone that made all those qualifiers possible yesterday, Ryzone and myself. Uh, Incidentum, thank you all so very much for all your uh, hard work in bringing the, the you know this top 32 together here for the Tropical Rain series, and uh, this has only just begun. So, as we're waiting for our next matchup, I'm not sure on Zaffarino's opponent. And, uh, it's and, a what, and wash your hands, a Cody player. Cody, wow. Ooh, Cody, nice, Cody. See, this is what I'm. This is what I'm so. Like I woke up this morning and I really I, I walk after walking Kintaro I wanted to play Street Fighter Five. Like I really wanted to play Street Fighter today, and I haven't felt that way in a long time. So, um, Capcom must be doing something right because I'm very interested right now. There's a lot of different there's a lot of different character arcs and uh, different options available now with V Shift. So hopefully you know the oh. learning curve won't be too steep for me having not being uh, you know. Uh, in the game for, for a little while, but, uh, you know, seeing all the different characters and, you know, seeing Cody here today, this is going to be really a treat. I guess the uh, the only thing I could ask for, you know, 
would would be too bold uh, would be to say if there was any Blanca players. <laughs> mm. I always have a soft spot for Blanca. Yo, thank you, Raph TX, for the $25 donations. These donations are coming in fast and furious. Hey. Thank you, all Re Remember, guys, uh, top 32 of this event is getting paid. So, you know, everybody's going to be walking away with something. As you progress up, you get more you get more and more of a share of the money. So we appreciate any support yep. you can give us. And once again, yep, if you get the $1,500, so. G Fuel will throw another $500 in. All and right, just like, like that, we've just passed over $1,100. So we're nice. so close to that $1,500 uh, that, that, that goal. You know, to increase it even further, like Arturo said, everybody's going to get a little bit of the, the prize pod here. You know, it takes a village, and we have, you know, 32 of some of the best players here in Street Fighter V going, you know, mm -hmm. going all out here for the Tropical Rain series. And, uh, you know, Cody and Sagan would be the next two characters. You know, the matchup, I'm not sure, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting to see if Cody can... Uh, Establish the the rock, and and with Sagat and his you know his buff with his tiger shots, and you know the the knowledge that Zafarino brings with that character, and you know the confidence, and now especially with all the changes, so I'm not sure if he's experienced in the Cody matchup, but for me it's going to be it's, it's going to come down to that. It's going to come down to who who's going to get that that corner and who's going to keep it. Yes, Look at this chiclet smile from Ryu. I can't help myself. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, that's like the it. best thing ever, man. I actually like that. Whoever did that artwork did a fantastic artwork. I want to wake up in the morning every day and look in the mirror and smile just like Ryu. Oh, Zapparino buffing up the scars here. Yep, so that's going to buff up his DP. It's going to do a little bit more damage. Since that's the reskill he's using. And already, um, Wash Your Hands already got his V-Trigger 2 out. Oh, nice. You should never jump against Zaffir. He's always ready for those dragon punches. Ooh, nice. Finally baits with the fireball with the V-Skill. Trying to get in as much as possible. Well, the setup with the rock here. Oh, and it's gonna, I'm done. This is going to hurt a lot. <gasps> he banned the DP! Wow! Unafraid, Zafarino going for the DP and Hands was ready for it. That rock setup really, really being the equalizer there in round one. Yeah, once like once we Cody gets that V tree too, that's when he, it's it's time to mix. Zav saying get off me. Trying to create some big marker to the corner. Going for throws. Got three. Oh, he went for the third. He went double rock. Nice punish right there. That's going to hurt. Oh, but he drops the baby. Tiger shot. Oh, my goodness. What's going on here? We got Must next level mind games here. Must have been lag or something. Must have been. Oh, they're keeping the crowd oh, oh, in the oh, oh, oh. critical art off the tiger shot. He used that B Skelly, all of Cody's fireballs hits, Final and he immediately round. converted that into a DP2 super. Very smart by Zaf. Oh, the trade there to get started round three. Throwing Both up these players. Fireball games. So God, they get hit those clubs with the fireballs. Pull the jump over. He didn't find a cross up. Zaf charging up again. Something off that whip throw. Oh, big crush there. The carry. The corner yep. pressure. We're going to see the oh. rock here. Oh, oh, he slide right through the fireball. The corner. Oh, the oh crush my god. Again. Oh, oh, he had cleared. Oh, oh, oh my god. He has to pay Ruth. 
the Sultan of Swing, the Colossal of Clout, Cody. Wash your hands. Six feet. That that lead pipe's got to be six feet social distancing. <laughs> My goodness. Oh man. What a turn of events right there. Fight. Oh my god, just do the do the ruffian kick and the start it around. Another big crush here from hands. He's got Zap on the back foot here. And this corner oh. carry from Cody. Oh my god, this will be a huge oh. upset. Oh my god, he almost got the shimmy. Alright, here we go. Zap. Tiger knee, just the corpse hop. All right. He ain't out yet. Yep, walk up throw. The king in his castle here. He's got Cody in the corner. Oh. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. He was able to walk in through that projectile. Yep. And, wow. Hands ready for that. Ready for that sequence there. He didn't. Oh, walk what a good the anti here. Oh my God. Zach just did it. Yeah, big DP there. Man, that crush counter hurts so much. Oh, robbery time. Oh, he woke up stand. Robbery time. Yeah, look oh, at that stun bar just deflating. Zaffarino almost within reach there. Oh, my God, here we go. Stun. Nice air up. Nice you know, I'm, I'm surprised he was able to crouch jab there because when you land that command grab, I believe it's a chest frame setup, then the bounce back like that. But he just jabbed out of pressure. He I'm must really have time to set yeah. up. Then. Here we go. Zap Marino pushing in, into the corner here. This left yep. side. Oh, that was such a sick conversion off oh, of that crush counter. The damage, the health bar, the leash. In all right, he's got him in the corner now. Yep. At the base of beach, or you can't be reversal this. Oh, but he can do that. The king has returned. Oh, right back at you. Yep. Oh, give me that space. Oh, and the high tiger shot. Second one one. That last little bit there was super fast. They were playing. Yep. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they just go right back into it and just it's like this. This is this match went zero to hundred real quick. Round one. Hands is sitting there, Fight. batting back these tiger shots, throwing his own. Sav spacing right now. Oh, that's a counter hit. That's going to be comparable. Look at the damage. My God. Oh. oh. X Tiger now. Yep, that's gonna stun right there. Big it's trouble. gonna yeah. build up the beast kill. Yep. You're done. That's Definitely round done. one here. Oh, oh are we gonna see a pair? Yeah. Yes, okay. we are. The golden letters. Ooh. That's round the first perfect of the night. Zapparino. Oh, nice punish. You try to anti air. Ooh, the ruffian kick. Oh, big jump kick with the DP. Yeah, right now Zaf is changing up his fireball game. The spacing from him with the king. Oh, this is gonna hurt a lot. I think he tried to do a, a frame trap right there with the EX knee. Oh my Look god. He got ball. punished for his troubles. Andy. Oh, oh he got the command grab. The rock lobster. Oh my god. This is gonna hurt. Hands. He's dead. Oh my god, the damage. When it seemingly looked all but over. This is gonna be a big upset, Gandhi, as Zap gets sent to the loser's bracket right now. On the edge of my seat here, Zaf with two throws. Definitely up close and personal here in this really intense round three. Yep, and right now controlling that, that mid range game with the fireballs. Nice, nice punish going for the C8. This is gonna hurt. Definitely, and it's gonna push him around mid range to full screen. But 
now washing hands is trying to get in as much as he can. Yeah, but we've seen this before. Here comes the lead pipe. Yep. Oh. oh. Here we go, getting the, the walk set up. He's gonna call her off. Oh. Oh my God. Can Zaffirino find an avenue? Oh my God, he took away the great life. Oh, he's trying to reflect that. Wow. Oh my God, he gets hit by the high tiger shot. Oh my god. So, yeah. Very nice by Zafarino there to take it. Yup. Hands making it. <laughs> oh making my god. it a Yeah, giving Zafarino a run for his money there. What an incredible set between those two. I'm not sure if they've ever had any oh, tournament uh, history, but uh, that could be springing a new rivalry between those two. That was an impressive set between both of them. Definitely, it could have gone either way, but Zaf with the spacing on his fireballs allowed him to stay stay in the winner side of this game, keeping Cody out as much as he can. Yeah, those rock setups were instrumental in almost leading those hands to victory. Up. There, yeah, those rocks those setups were scary, especially when he got that that um, command grab towards the end, and it. And especially that combo he got with the rock as well. Around two. Like man, I never seen that before with Cody. That was so cool. Yeah, he was they were he he was showing us things that we have never seen. That was that was impressive stuff. I'm sure he's gonna, you know, build off of that momentum, you know, even the the result he didn't get what he wanted here in the winner's side of things, but I'm sure he's gonna find an answer in the, in the lower bracket for sure. Hope to see him again. Yep. Yeah, as we wait for our next matchup, um, another quick update here from the I think it's probably gonna tropical be tropical rain station. Yep. I think it might be me, we, like, because it's like everybody's played their first round match except me. Oh, you're in here. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I'm in All here. Right. So here we go. So yeah, uh, we have just reached over eleven $1 hundred and fifty dollars. Chat couldn't be possible without you. Thanks so much to Match Reno and G Fuel for making this possible. You know, just a few, just a few hundred more dollars, and when we reach fifteen, we'll automatically get it to two K, and then that's just even more prize pool money for everyone because everyone here at the G Fuel series is getting paid top 32 everybody gets paid out yes thank yep. you so much so to everybody talk we can go ahead so even if you don't win the tournament or you're out you're still getting paid no matter what so everyone wins But yeah, these uh, you know, these matchups, um, you know, even if they are, you know, uh, you know, even if even if there is a flow chart, you know, there are things that have changed throughout each character, and then you, you know, with the addition of the, you know, the V shift system, um, you know, it, it just really adds another, you know, defensive mechanic that, you know, you, it, it just, it's it's more layers to an already, you know. Uh, you know, huge, you know, cast and, you know, a huge amount of, assist, you know, there's a huge, huge amount of different options here. And then you just added another. So it's like a shadow counter, but, you know, with a little twist. And, and I really appreciate what they're trying to do with it. And, uh, you know, we haven't seen much of use of it uh, here tonight so far, but I'm sure as we get further into the, you know, further into the tournament here, as things really start buckling down. You know, I'm sure we're going to start seeing things maybe even slow down a little bit and we'll get to see, you know, some of this, uh, you know, new uh, mechanic, the V shift uh, utilized here in the, uh, here at the, uh, you know, back end of the, back end of the tournament. Stream, I, like art. I wasn't, I yeah. wasn't joking when I said Dalsim is trash. I'm not joking when I say that. I'm not downplaying. <laughs> it's been a rough oh, week here for Art. <laughs> Damn, I should have picked Sim. <laughs> Alright, it's cool. <laughs> oh god. Well, 
Well, Arthur, I don't like no this matchup. No stranger to this matchup. Yeah, I don't like no this No stranger matchup. to this matchup. <laughs> it's the same thing that happened in uh, Rob TV. <laughs> See how this Round goes. One. Fight. Yeah, let's see if Art can use that gunshot. Definitely. There it goes. Oh, nice. I think what makes it hard too with this, especially, is that Karen has a really good walk speed as well. So even if um, Falk has a really good mid range buttons, it also has the gunshot to keep Karen out. She has a really good walk speed to so just walk down. Walk Falk down. Like already, she's. Getting close to the corner where Karen actually really shines. Oh, and there's oh, a timely jump. Here from oh, but Bisu doesn't punish it. Mm. That's a little bit laggy. So, no wonder you dropped the punish. <laughs> Ooh, it's like an infinite. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> oh, we sliding into the DMs. Ooh. Damn, give, damn, give Sim a good V ship. My fault got a good V ship, but not Sim. Huh? Walking underneath, jump over. Like, yep. you guys hate zoners, Definitely. but you let Falk zone. <laughs> no, you just hate Sim. <laughs> Sim not allowed to live. Season five. The memorial service continues. Yep. Art looking still pretty strong here on Falk. Yep, playing that fireball game Night right girl. now. That was a good B skill right there. Oh, and the activation from Mark. Look at this gray life. Look at this. That. Oh. Oh. oh that's that's touch it. and it's gonna activate. Hits the critical art. And that's all she wrote here for game number one. I actually picked the wrong V skill. I meant to pick V skill two, but it's okay. Roll with it. You Mark win. just rolling with the punches <laughs> here. He's got a, got got V skills that he didn't want, but he's still look going pretty, with the flow. <laughs> still looking pretty good. Yep. You know, I'm sure the time and the amount of you know uh, training that he's put oh, into ball, I'm sure he's able to play either Mark. or against, uh, especially this matchup that he's has so much experience in. So. Arturo being like water. <laughs> Going with the flow. Oh my gosh. Right now hit. he's flowing these dude into the corner. He's just getting hit. Oh, he beats. Oh. Art said I'm gonna Arturo, beat Arturo, hitting with not? the sticks. Yeah, I'm just doing it. Oh, we're out. Bye. Bye. Where is so, so, so Fall could do the same thing that Dawson can? Arturo, but but, 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 no, but nobody's complaining? Here with I, the beast I, have, here I, I have a one button in here with three punch. But you guys took away Sim's jab. Oh, oh the bait on the DP. Yeah, bye he bye. it out that time. Oh. Right out of there, Fred Astaire. Oh, look, it's the same thing oh. Dalsum does. Oh, well, <laughs> tap. Round two. Nice, Shimmy. nice damage here from Bizu. Definitely, he's gonna get wow. close to the stun. Yeah, we're uppercutting. Yeah, Art's gonna guess here, and he's gonna get away with it. Another day Woo! XTP. Woo! Look at that! Oh, Activates it. Damage. Wow, look at that damage. Hell for the day. Yep. We're chasing him down. Back to, to the zoning war. Chasing him down. Bizu trying to step, trying to get grounded here, going for neutral jumps, trying to oh. find a nap. He's got, got a hit. Oops. Oh, I think he's. Oh, Input there. Oh, no. Art really just autopiloting and going for another DP, but... <laughs> this guy should like, oh, fuck, wow. fuck. I gotta beat him now. I gotta beat him now. Before. I don't want to play him another game. You can even see the rollback. Our I think I actually see here. the rollback a little bit from watching on Discord. Oh, nice cross up. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, push him in the corner. Yep, and throwing out those fireballs. All oh, nice whip nice punish on the sweep right there. All right, damage. Oh, the dash under to get the corner. Nice side switch, but hard ready for it again. Oh, you know how to punish. He has no how to punish. Oh, that's oh, gonna be it. That's gonna be it. Oh, oh, it's not it. Not yet. Ooh, that's like an infinite. Damn. Damn. That R takes it to oh. 
It's like I have a plus frame, like, standing MK. Sims is minus four. Hers is plus two. Plus two, plus two, plus two. Broke. <laughs> Toro closing out that set moves on here in round two. It's going to go up yep. against Orange Man. You know, just uh, keeping along at home, score here in the bracket. Quick update and uh, breaking news uh, Tega taking his match over Rob TV, advancing into round three. Ooh, that's, that's spicy. I want to know what was going on there. He has to wait between the between the winners of Art and Orange Man. And it looks like Shine and uh, Sh uh, Shock. Shock are going. Yeah, it looks like Shine and Shock are going up against each other as we speak. It looks like their match has begun. So yep. as we await our next set on stream, still keep climbing up. Eleven hundred and fifty-three dollars now. Thank you so much, chat. Make sure to share the good word. So many different sponsors here tonight partnered up. Also restreaming the events. Make sure you go to their streams, show them some love. Couldn't be possible without all their effort. For, for, for a week in here, you know, Street Fighter season five, you know, this is a, you know, this is a healthy collective uh, group of, uh, you know, players, you know, from all different, all different, uh, you know, character arcs, you know, we're seeing a lot of variety here, even with Cody and things like that. So um, I can only, I can only imagine to see more of that as we move forward. The underscore in the uh, lobby here. I remember the play from underscore yesterday using Cami, very strong Cami player. I'm not sure where they are in the bracket. I'm trying to locate that. Oh, I see them. Here we go. Uh, looks like they're going to be going up against Thunder. That could be our next match, if I'm not mistaken. And then the winner of this will be going up against Zapparino. So that'll that'll be another barn burner. Okay, here we go. It looks like we're gonna get right into it. So we got underscore going up against Umarogan. Umarogan, I'm saying it right. He's gonna go, he's gonna be using Ryu. So I think we saw underscore yesterday in one of, in the qualifier going up against a Ryu. So let's see if that will pay dividends here in the uh, top 32. Nice start here from. From Umer. Yeah, that crouching medium kick from Ryu. Very nice. It's a very nice uh, space checker here. Oh, but once Cami leaves the ground, you have to be able, you have to be aware of that dive kick, whether it's an EX or not. You have to, you have to be cautious. But Umer doing a great job keeping underscore grounded here. Oh, and there it is. Nice anti-air, and he dashes underneath. And oh, it gets another clean hit, another counter. Oh, look, he's sticking out those limbs, and underscore returning the favor there. Cammy's got some really fantastic normal buttons herself. Oh, there's the EX dive kick, a little telegraph. Umer was ready for it. Oh, the dash up. Nice throw escape. There you go. Oh, and the elbow. 
throwing them bows, ludicrous. Luda. All right, round two. Oh, okay. Sticks out a limb, gets the first hit here. Underscore. Not really happy with that first round. He's trying to get a clean jump in there. Nice arrow to carry. Oh, looked like he was going for parry there. Activates. Or throw. Underscore ready for the follow-up throw. Activates himself. Okay. Dive kick, throw escape. Boomer's eyes wide open. Ready for all these mix-ups here from Cammy. Oh, he wasn't ready for that one. Nice counter here from Underscore, and he's going to answer back here and take round two. Final round. Fight. All right, final round here between these two. Nice. Nice DP here from Umer to get started. Challenging the air. Those strong, strong DPs here from Ryu. But damage here from the spiral arrow. At the back throw. Boomer on Half-Life. Activates off the Fireball. Oh, he's getting the counter hits. Gotta be careful, though. Oh, the arrow. Switch sides, and then he went for a back throw. Lug cheeky. Boomer content with just keeping the range, and then he oh my God. him with the arrow. Oh, my goodness. The EX Dynasty misses its mark. And Uber's able to find the hit, and he hits with the e, the Tatsu. Ryu yep. wins. Well, that was a very... That was really unfortunate for Underscore. He, oh, the that EX was very unfortunate. He, he did the V-Skill right there, and he got punished for his troubles. Yeah. Round one. Fight. Right, Uber getting game one here. Scoring the first hit. Yep, number two. nice fireball game, all good anti-area. Nice, he's waiting for him now. Now he can... It's almost as if things are slowing down and he's seeing Cammy leave the ground. Calling him out. Nice V-shift here this time. Oh, the dash up, trying to get close. Cammy is so oh, dangerous. Oh, shooting V-skill too, that's interesting. CJ Grayson, thank you so much for the sub. Nice air to air from Umer. Challenging Cammy. Has to be careful though throwing off fireball. She does have CA, so she can actually travel through that. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh. Oh. Nice tech. Yeah, the B reversal. Wow. Oh my goodness. Round two. Match point now for Joe. For Joe. Yeah, reuse reuse normal buttons are so strong. Even with a character like Cammy. And with all these recent changes in the new season of the Shoto here in Street Fighter V, season five, you looking really strong here for Boomer. But underscore able to keep things. Almost within reach here. Oh, well, he finds a good dive kick. Oh, damn. That's unfortunate. Yeah. He comes back right there. I think he tried to go for a combo and he accidentally held back. We're, see we're seeing some we're seeing some uh, frame drops, so possibly that could have had some influence on it, but he's going to try to find a an answer to that. He's down on health, though. He almost has his critical art, but he's going to spend the resources here. Nice V shift to avoid pressure from Cammy right there. Oh, activate! Oh, and the dash and crouch jab, and Joe is gonna advance forward. Ryu. Yeah, Ryu. underscore. Wait, no, it's one 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 oh. My bad. No, I, I'm pretty sure underscore. Oh, one so two. Didn't, oh, okay, it's two oh then. Yeah, it's two oh. I'm, uh, you know, underscore underscore was looking really good there in that first game. Um, you know, he was finding the hits. The the damage output, of course, is there for Cami. You know she can she can almost outclass Ryu in some in some situations. Uh, in that you know um, the the fireball 
you know, the interruptions weren't, you know, there was no counters uh, with uh, Spiral Arrow. Uh, so, you know, there was a lot of, uh, in, I, I, I feel like the second game, it started slowing down there for Umer. He started getting all those hits from all those jump-ins. You know, Umer was commanding the skies and uh, Underscore wasn't able to get those uh, those mix-ups with the, the timings on the dive kicks. And, uh, and I really think that's what ultimately did him in. You know the, the health deficit and Ryu is such a such a powerhouse in the neutral. So uh, definitely, his you know, score is going to keep moving, keep moving forward. You know, in the lower side of things, but uh, Boomer, he's going to have his hands full again. All right, real quick, he's going to go up against. I believe it's going to be Zapparino. Yeah. So that's going to be Ooh. that's going to be real good. Before yeah, we get to the next match, Flash of the Titan there. I'm going to shout out the uh, match arena real quick. Show you guys where we are in the current brackets as well. Uh, yeah, so this is what we got right here. So, like, right now, Windows Round 2 is currently underway. I think I'm the only person that didn't play Windows Round 2. So I got to play Orange Man. There you can see that's going later on in the bracket. Punk Constructive, Zafirino Thunder, Space Boy, and Shock Z Damas. Got Loose's bracket matches going on right now. Here's the current match arena where we're at. We're at eleven hundred eighty-nine dollars and seventy-nine cents. Uh, you can use the promo code Tropical Rain to donate fifty cents to the prize pool completely free. Check out the uh, special sponsor quest as well from G Fuel Energy, as well as the marketplace if you want an item. I saw somebody bought a match arena varsity jacket. Thank you so much. And we have uh, another stretch goal. So, like I said, once again, if you get fifteen hundred dollars, G Fuel will throw another five hundred. And if we get to 2500 for some reason, G Fuel will throw like another 500 for a total of $2,000 from G Fuel. That would be crazy <laughs> if we get that. But let's focus on the first one. $1,500, we'll add $500 to the prize pool. Shout out to G Fuel Energy once again. And we can certainly get there already as we speak, hitting the $1,200 mark. We're at, we're at 1190 at the moment. So we are within reach of that goal you know to uh increase and support financial support especially even in these times for these players uh so very important and couldn't be possible without our sponsors g fuel and Maturino. so very thankful for all their support for the fgc street fighter 5 and season 5 just getting started with the tropical rain uh you know the, the, these matches have been really exciting and uh, as you know, as, as we climb into the bracket here, it's starting to it's starting to form up. You know, we we, we see some big heavy heavy hitters here. Uh, you know, uh, the players from the players from the qualifiers. You know, uh, you know, just bringing that momentum and just carrying it forward. Um, from from what I can see in the bracket here, it seems like as if Shine uh, went down 2-0 against Shock. Wait, so that, that's wait, what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm seeing here. Wow. So that that's that's a huge that's that has huge implications here moving forward. Um you know, if you know, if only we had player uh interviews at some point. You know, midway through midway through a tournament, you know, we could do like we could cut some promos like uh you know, mean Gene Oakland I could become or something like that. But uh you know, hearing hearing from those guys, I'm really curious to see what happened in that set. You know we're gonna we're gonna keep moving things right along here. Um, you know, with that being said, we're in round three here in the winter winter side of things. Tega awaiting the uh, outcome between Arturo and uh, and his opponent. So there is there is one more match to be decided here before we start really shaping things up. But. Um, I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with Orange Man's uh, characters, so um, we'll see what our chooses to go with. Play Zeku. Looks like he's gonna go with Falk. Nah. Oh, he plays Zeku. Dalsin. This is the path to achieve it. Well, Arturo opts to go with Dalsin, and we got Benjamin Button here from Orange Man. Curious case, you know. Um, from what I understand, you know, Zeku has uh, slowly uh, but steadily, you know, rose to the top of the 
or at least, you know, the upper echelon of characters here in Street Fighter V. I'm not sure where he stands now with the changes here in Season 5, but Arturo going with his, uh, his bread and butter here. Yep, going with Dalsum. Yeah, Yoga Snipe in here. Nice punch on the slide right there. Oh, here we go, starting the pressure. Oh, the V-ship. Oh, nice avoiding the slide right there after the V-ship. Young Zeku out to play. Oh, he switches it up. Oh, he summons the Dogu. Using Beast skill too, which allows him to summon a bird and a dog. Arturo Crispy with his pressure there. Orange right, Man yep. just... Yeah, Orange Man just getting a... Just getting clipped with all these normals here. Send in the bird! Right now, Turtle's doing a really good job keeping Orange Man out. Orange man trying to use Dogu. Yep. And Arturo's having none of this. He's gonna, he's gonna run away. There we go. For sure. Arturo content with just uh, playing the space game there, waiting for his moment, utilizing the mobility with the teleport still. The threat of the teleport always still there for Dalsum, even though the float has changed. Nice dive. Here we go. Oh, I, man, getting something started here. Yep. Well, he's getting cooked right now. Oh, he's got to watch the red carpet. Red carpet. Oh, very nice. Tori going for the throw and the slide, making him really hold all this gray life. Only opts to go back to the old Zeku, and he gets the crossover there. And he's able to find the hit, and he's able to cash out there and get that second round to send it to a final round here in game number one. Oh, nice challenge right there. Yeah. Ready oh, that was a very bad stand roundhouse, and oh, that was not a good confirm. Oh, that clean jump in just missed it there with the ender. That was so important. It gave Arturo the opening he needed to get out of there. And now, round three. Arturo in the driver's seat. I have to make sure. Oh, he got out of there. Yep. Try and get away now. Still got a good amount of his V-Trigger, but now he just spends it. Nope, but he gets a good counter hit. This is oh. going to do a lot of damage. Could this be enough? No. One more mix. <gasps> nice block. Oh, oh no. Yes. Oh, very nice, nice block. It's the overhead. You win. Orange Man wanting to respond after that. I waited for him to crouch. Or, oh, yeah. Arturo waiting for him to make a move. Yoga snipes him out of the air. Orange Man starting to starting to get something going there in the in the later part of that first Round match. Fight. Let's, see, let's see if he's able to find any rhythm, but you know there was some there was some damage there that was left on the table, and you know that gave that gave uh. You know, that gave Arturo the, the confidence he needed to just go. Oh, and that was a really good teleport to bait out the DP. There we go. Nice. Activate the yoga carpet. Getting that gray life down. Oh, and now all of his life is gone. Just like that. Yep. Plugs him out of the air. 
challenging that EX command dash right there. Yeah. He was looking for something, but Arturo making him pay for it once again. Yep, and now he's at match point. Oh, what a good way to avoid the demon flip. Yeah, the EX demon flip. He was able to avoid it. And he gets him on that right side. Closer to that corner. Good throw. Good throw, yeah. Slide, follow up. Ooh, very nice. Okay. Oh, he punishes Dawson's V-shit right there. Oh, he got the stun. Yeah, that crouching jab, just enough to be able to hit Arturo out of the sky. Cause the stun. Here goes those long ranging limbs from Dawson. Yep, trying to keep him out of this range and keeping him out of the sky. And yeah, building that health lane here for our turn. But wow, just like that, spending all the cash. Yep, using those grams to his advantage and now switching back to young Zeku. Trying to play aggressive as much as he can. Dalgu yet to find his mark. Young Zeku, a.k.a. Ace Ventura, needs to reconnect with nature. He wants to try to utilize their setup potential. Got the V-reversal. Okay. He activated. Yep. Fourth throw. The, wall, the, the carry from that fourth so much. It pushes him so far to the corner, but now he finds himself in there. Yeah, that's right now. Want to be here with this life lead for our no hero being able right to now, back. I don't think one more hit will do. Oh, he is cooking here. Rotisserie. Check every jump back jab right check there. Check every from EX dash. Check every single you EX win. dash. <laughs> Let's go, B. Man, GG. Arturo unafraid, challenging every option here from Orange Man. And yep. able to close out the match here. Every command dash, punish with a jab. Stop Arturo's next opponent will be Tega. Moving into winner's round three is Arturo. That's going to be an interesting match since Tega plays mostly a lot of Shoto characters. Right, you are. And just an update here, we are so close to achieving that $1,200 mark here in round three of the winner's side. Thank you all so very much for all your support here. G Fuel Tropical Rain Series. Partnering up with Macherino is a winning combination. You know, we could all use, we could all use a little you know, we could all use a little motivation here in a $1,000 base so, size pool, surely enough. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's pink versus destructive. That's going to be a really good match. Here we go. Pink the god. Yes, all, all, all of the all of the new changes to season five here. We find ourselves seeing uh, Pink the God using using Dan earlier this week. Uh, you know, really showcasing you know all the zaniness that is the character, and uh, you know all the creativity behind all the options in his V trigger. You know, it being one bar, you know, with, uh, with, you know, with, with having, you know, with having all of the options outside of it, you know, it, it's a way of them to balance it without making him too broken. But then you see 46 hit combos in the corner with Dan and you go, well, where are we at here? 
Um, you know, is the character, you know, head and shoulders above the rest, or is this, you know, a little, you know, uh, preempt, you know, it's a little overreaction here, especially being one week in. Um, you know, we'll soon find out if uh, Pink, uh, you know, decides to go with Dan, or we're going to see another character in their wheelhouse. Um, as far as destructive, I'm not familiar with the players, so I'm not sure uh, what they, uh, you know, you know, what their archetype is, what their character choices are. But, uh, you know, to make it this far in round three of the winner side of things, we should be seeing, uh, you know, some intense matchups here. And, oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. I think this is I think this is the first time we've seen the um, Yurian today. Yes, it is. And first yeah, time for Yurian and Kage. Fight. Yep. I'm known to play different type of characters. Not only just Karen. Let's see how Pink does this. Crush him. Crush him. Crush him. Crush him. Crush him. So Kage yeah, does damage. have a full wall speed, so his pressure game is going to be much more stronger now. Now, Destructive's got the corner control. Activation here from Pink. Oh, has the Aegis. Mirrors out here, the Aegis. Yep. Activates another one. No. Oh, that was so smart. He used his B trigger to get out of the corner. Big damage there from Pink, and just a crouch jab is going to close out round one. Round two. Destructive, pushing Pink to the corner. He's looking for those throw mix-up opportunities. Pink's not having it, using his low forward to keep him at bay. The oh, shoulder there. Oh, he does the Pink. Recognizing the overhead was inevitable, going with that EXDP, and now he's got the corner once again. And oh, the big jump in the front. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. And Pink taking the first game here. Yep. Destructive, you know, hanging in there. Had an opportunity to send it to a round three, but Pink maxing out all of those opportunities with the cross up. Round one. Getting the big damage when he needed it. And he's got a game under his belt here in round three of the winner's side. Oh, now they're just trading low sweeps. Oh. Nice whip punch right there with the towards fierce. Oh, good autocorrect DP. Oh, that's just gonna hurt right now. B reversals off the Aegis activation, but does it matter? Destructive's still gonna get the damage here. Oh, nice block there on the overhead from Pink. Mirror number two is out. Ineffective. Oh, nice jump in. Yeah, look at the damage off that jump in. Yeah. Supremely confident Pink with that jump in, clean jump in, and then just ending that round one with the fourth throw in the corner. Really just master class here. All right, once again, it was normal from Kage. Able to contend with the shenanigans here from Yurian. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shoulder, okay. Using a lot of his good normals to keep Yurian in the corner. You don't see any flying knees in her headbutts. Here we go. Oh, oh that's going to be too late. Oh, he didn't time it oh, right. He didn't kill. Not over yet. V reversal once again off the Aegis. Punk ready for that activating. Nice jump in here from Destructive. It's not over yet. Oh, yep. He has. He still has one more. One more. He, he jumps out with oh, the Aegis. Oh, there was only oh, limited use from the Aegis, but oh. oh. That's unfortunate. He had the right idea, and then he 
tricked him into doing it. Yeah, destructive. Boy's under pressure here and gets round number two. All right, here we go. Already back in the corner here. Big oh, rush counter. Punishing the throw. And the side switch, but he's going to get clipped with that DP. The reversal EX DP here from Pink. Punishing Destructive for trying to get a setup there, but oh, he's got another opportunity here with the Aegis. Nice be reversed. Oh my again. god. Oh, and he blows it up this punch. time. He blows it up this time. He was trying to be reversal the mirror once again, but look at the damage. Gray life chipping away. Destructive within. And there it is, the counter hit. The Strup is still alive in this. You're taking it to, to, the, to game three. Yeah, pushing it to the limit, maxing it out. CPM here. Game number three, within moments, these two going at it. Round one. Fight. Here we go, game number three. First hit for Destructive. But Pink getting established here with these fireballs in the round three. Or game three. Oh, and that crush count, that's gonna hurt a lot. Oh, he's getting big four throw. Look at that stun. And a timely block on the overhead. All right now, Pink is still in the corner. Oh, the jump over. Oh, oh that's, and that's gonna be big. Oh, no DP. Oh, that's it, Andy. No, he mistimed it again. Oh my goodness. He gave him a breath of life and Destructive round activates two. the Aegis and steals the first round from underneath Pink. Yep. Match point now for Destructive. Liking how Pink right now is playing the neutral game, using Kage's Taurus Fears to try to bait out that crush counter. Yeah, destructive, breaking mirrors, erasing the seven years of bad luck. He's got luck on his side here. Oh, oh nice a big EX shoulder there. Oh! Nice overhead block from Pink. Oh, the EX. Pink's defense is doing so good. Yeah, but this pressure here from Destructive is keeping him in that corner. Checked. Pink afraid to jump, but there it is. I was waiting for that big jump. And then once more. Oh, nice he's the intelligence. Oh, he got the mirrors. The activation station. Oh, this damage output. It's not enough. It's not enough. Oh, oh and the throw. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Pink's wow. enough. The Losers. Yurian wins. Destructive. Ah. Answering the call. That is a huge upset right there. The God Slayer, destructive. Wow. He, 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 he beat Punk's 15th he character. Pink here. Yo, <laughs> I mean, that's the reality Round of it. Three of game one. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have now eclipsed twelve hundred dollars here in the prize pool. That's amazing. Shout out to you guys. All right, we're going to get the next match. What a magical set that was between those two players. Yeah, Pink was coming off very strong in that first game, but then Destructive adapted during that second game and then just took it. That's a very huge upset right there. Very, right very huge are. upset. Those Aegis Reflectors really paying dividends there for Destructive, and Pink, as soon as the mirror would come out, went for the V reversal multiple times. But the yep. one sequence, the one sequence in that corner, the left side, where Destructive called it out and was and, and cashed out and punished Pink for that V reversal on the mirror, uh, really, really sealed the deal there in that set. And, uh, you know, congratulations to uh, Destructive for, for moving on and building that momentum, carrying it into the winner side of round four as he awaits the winner of. Uh, Zaffirino and Thunder.
We also have matches going on as we speak. We have Space Boy going up against Shock. Yeah, and then me versus Tega whenever he gets he's back. he's riding high off of his win against I Shine. Matter huge upset today. And it looks like Shine's going up against No Need to Talk in round three of the loser side. The winner of that will be going up against Punk, who will be furious. Who, you know, I wouldn't want to see Punk after a round, you know, a winner side loss. I would not yeah. want to see him in the next round. So I don't want to see Punk. I don't want to see Punk in losers. Better not go to Tartarus. But here we go. We're getting set up for our next match here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Tropical Rain G Fuel Series. One weekend Street Fighter V Season 5, and we are we are heating things up. Let's do this. These matches are becoming intense. The prize is increasing, and the stakes have never been higher. You know, uh, a weekend with a Friday night payday such as this, everyone's guaranteed a little bit of the prize pot, but, you know, just a few more contributions from the support of the FGC, and we would be hitting that $1,500 prize pool mark, which would automatically guarantee another 500 to be, and then we would be hitting a $2,000 grand prize for an overall prize pool player 32. So that's really great to be able to share with everybody so once again thank you all for your support and here we go we're gonna get started here with our next match shock versus space boy space boy going with sakura yep he saw some impressive uh play from you know shock using alex earlier on this evening so See if he knows this matchup here against Sakura, but that's a big crush counter. And she really packs a punch here. Yep. Right now, trying to find his way out this corner. Nice, good jump in. He's going to come activate his V trigger. That dolphin dive damage. Here we go. Big crush oh, counter. Oh, no, not good. Yeah, he was looking for that big unblockable. He still has an opportunity here. He's got resources. Oh, and the shimmy by Space Boy using the stand like he to punish him for the throw. Very nice challenge on the jump in. Here's yep, shot. Yeah, he gets Oki off that EXP. Good punish. All the activation off the fireball. Oh, that was a really good bait by, by Shock right there. Oh, but he got hit. Second time's the charm. Space Boy looking to follow, follow in behind that fireball again. Very good jump, jump by right. Shock right now. Yeah. Taking that second round. Yeah, Shock looking really comfortable here in the mid screen against Sakura and Space Boy here. He's going to have to find a way to get back to the corner because that's where he was most dangerous. He went for that air fireball. He's looking for the jump in, but Shock not giving it to him. Oh, there it is. And he's got the cross up. Oh, that was very good reactions on Shock Boy jumping away from that stun gun hit, but. Yeah, that neutral jump from Space Boy. Showing that he is. Yeah, he's showing that he's ready to go here. He's he's wide awake. Activates. Good throw. Oh, the jump over, but no cross up. He's able to pick up the American reset. And he's got a fourth throw. And the overhead. Yeah, that big overhead. Yo, he I, down here. I just did the uh, last prediction. Who was the one percent that voted on on destructive? <laughs> I'm just curious because it was 99 percent to one. Those were the Damn. best. Wow. That is Damn. wow. One person voted. Yeah, we need, we need that person to give us uh, Saturday's uh, lottery uh, numbers. <laughs> he got all the chip right there for 
betting on the struck that that's all I'm yeah, gonna the say. Foresight, the foresight, right? Oh that here we go, back into it. Wow, very smart by Space Bully. As soon as he jumped after he threw out the fireball, he used his B skill to avoid the jump in. Oh, big crush and the juggle here with the fireball wall carry. Oh, and the fireball pressure in the corner right now by Space Boy. He's mm. getting done. V shift. Oh my oh. god, he does it! The style points here, getting the extra meter. Trying to build up the resources for round two here, which would be match point. Yep. Well, it's not kind of shock, but he did put shine in the losers. But right now, Space Boy off of the two. A very good start using those frames. Oh, nice knockdown. Yeah, big chops here. Yep. Using the beat shit to get off, get off me pressure. All right, we got patience here. It's a clean hit. Oh, he waited. Oh my yeah, God! He activates to continue this pressure here. He's got to get, he's got to get something going now. He had throw. to get the health lead before. Yeah, he's just gonna do a lot. And then it's big trouble oh here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's just out it's, of range. Moves on two zero. Yeah, as soon as Space Boy was able to activate there, that's when it started really. Just looking, you know, grim for shock. He almost had it. He activated, was able to successfully get the power bomb. But once Space Boy, you know, not wanting to lay down, you know, goes for the quick rise, activates, got the pressure, and uh, you know, was able to, you know, connect with that fireball to get the get the W. And he's gonna move forward. But uh, you know, like you said, shock taking out one of the big heavy hitters in this tournament so far and early on in the bracket so definitely let's see if he oh. can recover mm -hmm. he's gonna go down in the lower bracket and i believe he's still waiting for his next opponent so, so i think we're gonna have zaffarino come on next right yeah Z zaffarino versus a uh, shock it's gonna be next and then me versus tega All right. Well, once again, guys, uh, we definitely we definitely appreciate all your support. We're edging closer to that uh, first uh, fifteen hundred dollars stretch goal. Right now, we're at twelve hundred and two dollars. Right now, thank you guys so much for the support. You guys can use the uh, promo code. Ooh, let me uh, up, let me update this uh, Mubots. So, yeah, it's glitching out a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna up I'm gonna update the bracket link. Uh, but yeah, anyway, promo code Tropical Rain. You'll donate fifty cents to the prize pool completely free. Check out the uh, sponsor quest as well if you want to donate even more. If we get to fifteen hundred dollars, by the way, um, G Fuel will donate another five hundred dollars to the tournament. Check out the sponsor quest as well. Just click refresh if it says not available in your region. If we get to twenty five hundred, they'll throw in another five hundred. So they're basically willing to throw in two thousand dollars. You know, the community helps support this event. It's been amazing so far. Huge shout outs to G Fuel Energy for this one, for this event. So we have the next match on deck. Yes, indeed. You know, I mean, G Fuel, you know, it's the official drink of esports, you know? I mean, in the, in these times, you know, look looking towards the future, you know, sponsorships like G Fuel and the support from Maturino, you know, these things are, are, are pivotal, you know, for the success of the FGC. And, you know, it starts right here with the Tropical Rain series. Yep. I'm going to update that Moobot link. So kind of a clean link. Apologies about that, guys. Let's do this. Yeah, we're now over $1,200 here. So close to achieving our goal. You know, we're just moments away from bringing you some more high-level Street Fighter V Season 5 action. The King.
Zaffarino. All right, Zaffarino going up against Shock. A classic yep. matchup that I was anticipating. Cannon, Sagat and Ryu. Does it get better than this? Round one. No, versus Joe, you may again. Fight. Sorry. Oh, so this, this is the, the guy that... Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say, Thunder, Thunder I thought was... Uh, well, wasn't yeah, that's Thunder. Shock that's Thunder. actually under his name. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All good. So we got so Boomer. So matchup is not that bad for you, these characters. You know, so the guy has a very slow walk speed. But his fireball game is really good as well. So, and both of these characters also got buffs as well. So it's like pretty... Yeah. 5-5 five, five at least, depending on who gains the momentum first. And right now, Zaffarino has a huge health lead and building up on that great life against Joe. Well, that was a nice jump in from Boomer. Oh, nice side switch right there with the knee. Oh, and good punish. Let's go, Joe. Scoring the hit in the EX top. Yeah, that top two is going to close out round number one. Good crush counter. Those dash ups, the supreme confidence here. All good bait right there on, on the DP. Big crush counter. All oh, the V shift. Yep. Becoming a factor here early on, perhaps. Yep, getting oh. Oki right here. Oh no! The smell of blood in the water is Joe. Yep. Zamorino oh, not done just yet. Oh, he oh, picked up the next yes, This is gonna be big. It's not enough to kill. Oh, oh he jumps. Never jump against this man. He's always ready. The DP on the jump over. Yep. Zamorino with the lightning, tropical rain reactions here, connecting with that DP to get that round. Ooh, big counter hit there. Nice EX Hadouken. Trying to get in as much, uh, quickly as possible to pressure Zaff. Oh, that must have been an input error right there. Oh, he gets a hit with the crush counter after activation. That's not where you want to be, Jim. Oh, my oh, he's going to get clipped with the EX Tiger Knee. Yeah. Oh, that is unfortunate. He just wasted all of his B meter right there. He was looking for a big, a big comeback parry. Um, Zaffarino just being very patient there, looking, looking for that, uh, that whiff, and he's yep. able to close it out there. Gets round three. Zaffarino closing it out, looking really strong here. The first round was all Joe, but King had other plans. Oh, that was a very good shimmy right there by Joe right yeah. there. Yeah, that back throw. Punish the shit off the throw shimmy. Here comes the damage right now. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Good challenge by Zach. Oh, yeah, the activation off of that tiger shot. So God's heated up. Oh, and that's but Joe. Giving Zaffarino a taste of his own medicine here with a DP on a crossover jump to close around. Almost like deja vu. The Wuja Day. Somehow, some way. And here we go. Zaffarino. Backward throw. Yeah, but Joe jumping over there. No cross up, but he got he has the corner position. That's what he wants. Yep. Oh, nice, nice crouching counter hit there from Zaffarino, but he gets clipped. He's getting the counter hits, but he's getting clipped. Nice V shift once again. That's the second time. Third time, here we go. That's the charm. Has that huge gray life. Oh, what a good jump in. That's gonna hurt a lot. The damage off of that. 
It's ridiculous. Oh, and gets the crouch forward. Making it 1-1 right now. You win. Yeah, the damage off of that sequence there was enough to keep Zapparino, you know, grounded. He wasn't able, he was, he was just in the corner, back against the wall. And Joe is able to get game number two. I was hoping for this match to go down to the wire. And it doesn't round fail one. to disappoint as these two players Fight. fighting for that round four spot to go up against Destructive and his 1% Urian. Nice jump in here from Zapparino. Yep. Start game number three. Right now, Zap is playing a very good fireball game mid range, keeping yeah, the really help lead here. Yeah, he's comfortable throwing these, chucking these tiger shots with the help lead. Yep. Oh, he beats the DP though. This is gonna do a lot of damage. He's gonna try to do as much as he can to give back momentum. Gave him a chance. Cho uh -oh. fighting his way back. But yep. Zap, four for four on that V shift in the left side of the corner. Now he's back to playing the fireball game. Oh, uses the little light tiger shot, catches him from jumping. <gasps> nice. He's deep fireball. Oh my God, Zap. Round two. And now we're just raining fire here with these tiger shots from Zaffarino. A nice this is vintage he super can. turbo Sagat here. This man is constantly tiring again. Yeah, this tropical rain is making me moist. These low shots. Oh, he's yep, flipping him out of the air too. There Spacing it. Zaffarino. Oh, Momentum oh has shifted God. here. Yep, now he's going back to, he's going in. Oh, oh my ready God. for the jump over How again. many DBs, Andy? How many DBs have we counted so far this round? Your reversal. Cancels out. Projectile Wars. Yeah, he's trying Joe. to open up and it's not going to work. Zafrio's yeah. defense is just too good. Yeah, Joe Zafrio playing a dangerous so game there, Win. crouching almost seemingly in front of his uh, his own demise there. Yep. Zaffarino playing out of his mind there in that corner with the pressure on the line, able to utilize the new mechanic, the V-shift mechanic, paying dividends for Zaffarino four times